Leagues 5 Raging Echoes is coming this November, and if you've never played a Leagues before, don't worry, because I've got you covered here with all the basic ins and outs of how it works. Last year's League was my first time, and I managed to place 526th worldwide on the League Point High scores, which sounds pretty shit until you realise that over 130,000 players took part. Trying a limited time game mode for the first time can be very daunting though, and if you don't have the time to do all the research and planning to make the most of it, then look no further. I'll be dropping a ton of videos like this one in the coming weeks as we get more information to strategize with. For now though, let's dive into the basics of what Leagues is and how it works. Just keep in mind that this is more of a primer for Leagues in general than Leagues 5 specifically. We don't have a ton of information on the exact details and mechanics or numbers that will be live in Leagues 5 yet, so I'll be using examples from Leagues 4 in images and footage through this video. First off, everyone's an Iron Man. There's no trading or use of the GE in Leagues. Shops have infinite stock to make up for this, and whilst Iron Man is usually a slower game experience, the boosted experience and unique drop rates in Leagues will have you flying through the early game. Not to mention everyone starts off with full fairy ring access, a free dream and staff, access to herb lore, rune crafting and box traps without the usual required quests. And you have infinite run energy. <laughs> As you progress, your main way of figuring out what to do next will come from the in-game task list. There'll be hundreds and hundreds of tasks split between each region, each worth varying amounts of league points. At certain thresholds of league points, you gain access to new tiers of relics. At each tier you have the choice between usually either two or three different relics, super powered permanent buffs that drastically morph the way you play the game. You'll get your tier 1 relic as soon as you log in, which usually is a skilling buff. Previous examples include the auto pickpocketing trickster, the AFK's dream in endless harvest, and the instant processing of materials with Production Prodigy, which are likely to return in similar forms this time around. There are relics for transportation, combat, skilling and utility, as well as various unique and crazy effects you won't see anywhere else. With each tier, you also gain passive increases to multipliers on your XP, unique drop rates and minigame points, as well as sometimes having additional features like the last recall from Leagues 4. Big points means big relics, and big relics mean big wins. On the other hand, you don't want to slack from the smaller tasks either, because that's how you unlock new parts of the map. In leagues, you start off with only access to Mistlin and Karamja. With a set number of task completions, you unlock your first choice of a new region, then eventually unlock your second and third as you rack up even more tasks. Three extra regions is the limit though, so pick carefully which content you want to engage with. That being said, Leagues is the perfect opportunity to learn something new. You'll be so overpowered with your relics that things you thought were previously impossible will become incredibly easy, and that will give you the breathing room you need to actually learn how those mechanics work. Push your boundaries as much as possible because at the end of the six weeks, the character disappears anyway. The only thing you take back to the main game are knowledge and experience, and the confidence to try new things. So make the most of your time by stepping outside your comfort zone and learning more about the game than you ever have before. So what's the best way to prepare yourself for a great start on day one? Well, I'd recommend planning your first hour or so of gameplay in a step-by-step -step route so you can smash out all of the early game tasks that are easy and unlock as many relics and regions as fast as possible. This sounds way too daunting, don't worry. As soon as the task lists for Mistlin and Karamja are released, I'll be creating a plan of my own, which will be shared in both video and spreadsheet format here on the channel. And if you don't like my route, I'm sure there'll be plenty of other options to find from other creators without needing to plan your own. From there on out, you're not gonna have any shortage of things to do. There's always a new task around the corner in leagues or a new relic or region that you're racing towards. Focus on gaining access to all of your relics, unlocking all of your regions, and most importantly, remember to have fun. Relics literally break the game and it's not very often that you get a chance to play in that way, so make the most of it while you can because it's a damn good time. Choosing the right regions for you is a beast of its own, so I'll have a full video out in the coming weeks to help break down just what each area of the map has to offer. The main things you're looking for in your regions are good gear options, training methods, useful shops, activities and minigames that can't be done elsewhere, and enough endgame content like a raid to get stuck into when you inevitably get there. Try and aim for a solid mix of content you're already more than comfortable with, as well as some things you don't have to try in the main game but eager to learn. And don't pick a region filled with content you're going to hate just because it's seen as the best option. A great example of this is Asgarnia. 
Lots of people prioritise this region for its access to God Wars dungeon, fenders, max capes, and other things too. And they're right to do so, but Personally, I can't stand God Walls, and even though the gear on offer is some of the best in the game, it's not enough to make me even consider picking it over a region I know I'll have more fun in. That's pretty much the basics covered when it comes to what makes up a league. If you're watching this in preparation for Leagues 5 in particular though, there are a couple of new additions to be aware of. Whilst we don't have very much information to work with right now, it's been announced that a new system called Combat Masteries will be used to provide buffs and specialisations specifically in combat. This is apparently unlocked alongside your relics, and may somewhat replace some of the more combat focused relics we've seen in the past, such as the 4th tier relics in the last leagues. Exactly how the combat masteries will work remains to be revealed, but it's quite possible that the regular relics will be much less focused on combat, and more on a general array of utility tools. In addition, Leagues 5 is also named after its other new feature, Echo Bosses. Each region will have one Echo Boss, which is an enhanced version of a regular boss from that region, but with new and tougher mechanics. And some brand new items that have never been seen in the game before, as well as providing access to other items from different regions than they might usually be found. All of this is going to be announced ahead of time, so you'll be able to plan around it, but unfortunately right now that's as much as we know. In the same vein, it's been confirmed that each of the three raids will all be able to provide each of the three respective mega rares. That means you can get a shadow, a scythe, and a twisted bow from any single raid. You don't have to take all three. Just make sure if you're only picking one raid that the other loot it offers are things that you're interested in, because if you're hoping to get a score the holy trifecta of weaponry, you're going to have to do a lot of it. And that's really all there is to it. Leagues is a full speed storm of tasks, unlocks, big drops, and unbelievable levels of power that you simply won't see anywhere else in the game. I highly encourage anyone who's on the fence to at least give it a go, because it's an unforgettable experience to get stuck into and can teach you so much more about the game, as well as giving access to those sweet cosmetics from the League's reward store. If you have any questions about anything Leagues related, please do feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I read every single message and I'll be sure to clear up anything you need clarification on or further information about. Please do hit that like button too, it helps a ton with promoting my content and growing the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my future videos, including of course a ton of Leagues content in the months to come. Whatever the next Leagues video is going to be depends on the information we get first, but I will definitely have guides on the way for your day one route, how to choose the best regions for you personally, the relics that are available this time around, and more too, once the relevant information has been made available. As all from me, I can't wait for Leagues and hopefully I'll see some of you alongside me for a day one Huey mask that I'm determined to get going. Until next time though, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.